blank space in my mind right now. I'm looking for what to... I don't know. There's a lot. Not that it's blank, but there's a lot I want to talk about and I can't allow... I can't allow myself to just talk about it and just hint on it. So, I'm just going to say welcome to Scoopers. I had to love that up. I'm just going to say welcome to Scoop and Scoop. There's a lot that's happening in Celebrityville. And I just can't wait. I can't wait to share with you some of these things. I think I've reached a point in my life. Nange mbatulia ningamba neba naenga mkoye ga store ga mwe nganga koye. Atate mkola yobi pia. But anyway, I still love what you're doing out there, you celebrities. But for now, today, it's a Wednesday. I mean, there's nothing much happening. So let's delve into the day's gossip. Anyway, so... <clears throat> Paul and Peter Okoye, Peace Square, they are at it. They are yanking out their fake braids. Man, I was like, wait, 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 hold on. At first I thought it's just one of those baseless rumors that, you know, I started up just to sell something. It could be possible that that's what they're doing. But the thing is, the things that have been said between these three brothers, Jude, Paul and Peter, it's just too vile, man. It reminds me of a very bad book. No, it reminds me of one of those Gipidi and Labongo stories where people parted ways. Like, for real, in this day and era, y'all think you can call yourselves out like that? Like, can't you keep it Evil. But anyway, I know when tempers are flaring up and there's a Yoruba woman in between there, I get it. I get it. You can't keep it cool, but damn. Someone promised to send a casket to someone's home. Then someone is like, they're threatening my kids and my wife. I'm like, what for? In case you guys haven't yet noticed, let me break it down for you, Peter, Peter and Paul and Jude. Um... We as, okay, I'm going to speak for myself, but of course when I speak for myself, I'm speaking for masses. We got over your music a long time ago. We noticed you really can't dance. Okay, I think one of them can dance. I never tell them apart. Who is the cute one? And who is, okay, they're all cute. No, they're not cute. Anyway, we noticed that you really can't dance like, like Michael Jackson or Asha, but you can entertain. We noticed that you really can't sing. I mean, it's been years. It's been going on and on and on and on. You started dropping songs and we go like, Ania Kaim, Piwati. Oh well, like your time passed. So for you to come up here and think we are concerned and we really care about why the three of you are bickering and we'll never get why, why, why they're bickering. Because at some point you understand that the reason why they're bickering is because they have the money or the this or the that and then it's still confusing. It sounds like the money then one is like, no, it's because he married a Yoruba woman. Are you Igbos? Because I mean, I know Igbos and Yorubas don't get along that fine, but hey, just understand this, we have Radio and Weasel, we do not need you. Now, Radio and Weasel can make it up for all of what you guys do. Yes, they can't really dance. I mean, they're always high. But at least I know with Radio, I'm going to get a guy who has a bad temper, a good voice, and good writing skills. Now, with Weasel, I'm going to get a meek, humble guy who only lets his personality shine through when he's in front of a camera. And who, want, who wouldn't want that? That's entertaining. And I know that with these two, there's going to be enough drama to last me for centuries. But the, you three? Nah, come on. I'm like so over it. It's very childish if you ask me. For you grown-up men who are married with... What are your wives for? I mean, your wives are sitting there and they see you guys tear each other apart. Bring out all your dirty linen into the public and they're all sitting there like, mm -hmm. really, really? I mean, why? I get it. Class is not for everybody. You can attend school, but it doesn't mean you can buy class. But at the end of the day, this is just so messy-ish. I mean, we've seen messy-ish, but you're only brothers. And you're not just brothers, for crying out loud, you're twins. So even if you hate this punk so much, every time you look into the mirror, you're going to be looking at him too. Ah, a couple of days back, we got up to the infamous, very disturbing... <laughs> News that SK Mbuga had launched an app. Now, I didn't even understand what they meant by SK Mbuga had launched an app. Like, what's the app for? I know it's a, is it a mobile app. Like, what is it for? Well, I tried to do some searching and they told me over app, over yabichi, over mbuga, over over people who want to get in. I, guys, it was just very disturbing. All I know, it had some words to do with followers and likes and his people. I just, wow, SK, damn. I mean, here I was giving you, you know, 
for the hospital. That's a beautiful investment. Now you've come up with the app. As I was trying to take the app in and trying to understand what type of nonsense this was, I was hit by bigger ish. Eskambuga has a TV station, ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know. It is called Eskambuga TV. Now, the thing that kills me about this TV, though, <laughs> is it had a news anchor. The first episode I watched, anything I watched on that TV, and the news anchor comes in and she's like, Yes, hello, my name is so and so, and you're watching Eskambuga TV. What the hell? That is a mouth. Fool! Like, didn't you sit down with people? You could have called it SK TV. You could have called it so many other things. Hell, you could have named it after Leila Kayondo. You could have given it any other name, but you wanted it called SK Mbuga TV. Do you know that's a mouthful? Like, what are you doing? I'm just chilling here watching my SK Mbuga TV. What? Like, that's not enough. With the anchor sitting there trying to read the news, there is a kafoto. Ataka fana nyakacha since I yomu viyaka eske ye nanga labi kwa wu siwu fwa wu kwao. With his wu ears standing out and his wu cheekbones like this and him very very dark like they did not, they did not really think it was for TV. Man, it's at the back and the guy is just looking at you like this. So every time you turn on the television, you're going to just see SK Mbuga looking at you like this. I was like, man. <laughs> And this is another Zeta Center. That is all money. Because he has, I think he has invested and invested. He doesn't have, of course, an investment plan or a financial advisor. So he's just throwing it everywhere and everywhere and anywhere. But I'm asking myself, so what is SKTV going to be doing? Is it going to be officially for all these Nkuba Cheyos, Naba Centage, and Nazibandi Mugaga? What is going to air? On SK TV, boo boo, and this is me emphasizing. I can't choose the whole name of the TV, it's just wrong and long. But yo, it's a good thing, you know. I don't know if his wife is in it on it, but you would tell him it's not a bad investment because that's a that's a track lot of money. But you're asking yourself, what business does SK have doing a television network? One thing can be guaranteed though, before I move off from the SK thing. <laughs> Leila Kayondo's music is going to find airplay. If not, she'll get a job. She's going to find a way to weasel herself in there. And it's a good thing. She's dying out. So SK Man, you're a smart guy. Leila must be looking at you to the left, to the left, like, mm, daddy. Those are just my random thoughts. Oh yeah, where was I? Um, let's talk about more pressing things. Um so these rumors that are right, you know, it's been going around that Eddie Kenzo and Rema are not doing well. They are fighting. They're doing all these things. They're not in a happy place as a couple and as a family. I was like, okay, of course, these guys were our Beyonce and Jay-Z. Like, we look up to what they do. But let me break it down for you here. Me, when someone asked me about Rema and Eddie Kenzo, the first thing that goes into my, my, my head is, Rema wanted money, Eddie Kenzo came back and showed her Wanga no gua soka, here I am. Because let's face it, I know all of you Rema diehards don't want to believe it, but it's the truth. Rama and Kenzo tried to death way before there was such a glammed up couple. And when Kenzo stepped up to her, she was like, mm -mm 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 no, I mean, I could like you, but you broke. You ain't got nothing. They still have a future. Yeah, there was a Matthias Waluka guy. There was Zambu producers in there. There was a truck load. Oh, yeah, even Bebe Kul was thrown in there. Not forgetting there is that baby that she has, con she has continuously denied she ever had. So Kenzo is like, you know what, it's good, Onganye, let me move on. But, you know, I could be something someday. When he goes and gets that BET, Rema dropped everything like hot potatoes. And she's like, you know what, babe, I got you, I love you. So why are you going to sit here and play pretend? Like, really, why are we playing pretend like Rema came in it for the love? I mean, it's rare to get the love in this industry. But she was blatantly out there showing us that for hype was strictly for the money. So you wanted money. What did you expect? Because some of the complaints that we are hearing are Apparently, Kenzo is barely home. Secondly, he's banging everything in sight. Thirdly, he's never really in the country. Fourth, uh, yeah, he's just not around. And I'm asking you, Rema, what did you expect? The guy became a star all of a sudden. He didn't ever envision this ever in his life. But he's a star. And he's, yeah, when a Kampala Taina will work, but he's always outside the country doing all these things. And as for the chicks, baby, I'm sorry, you are gorgeous, love. You are beautiful. I have to say that, but have you seen Kampala girls? Have you seen girls from Angola? Have you seen girls from Namibia? Ah, 
there is pretty girls out there. You cannot expect Eddie Kenzo or Musidamu, Musuza, to always bring his car dilly 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 back to you all the time. Safe and clean. Nah, ah, 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 ah. And we have to also remember, at the end of the day, Kenzo being a man, because I asked a couple, I asked a couple of men, like, well, what's this exactly? It's like, you see, when you jam a man, because Talina work at that moment, and he goes and he gets his, he will come back again and try you out. The reason he's going to do that is just to check if you've noticed the status. Now, if you, the girl, are dumb enough to be like, uh-huh, because now you have arrived where I want. It. That's what he wants. He is going to spend the rest of that relationship just trying to show you, girl. Can't believe you said no to me the first time. He's forever going to treat you like I don't know something else. So Remarakira will cover. You wanted this. You needed this. Work on it. If it means getting on flights and planes with him, then do that. If it means burying burying yourself in the music, do that. But this is a family unit that has to stay together. And at some point, yes, you may break up, you may not. But I mean, we know. We know the people that Eddie Kenzo has banged around. We know them. We just don't like to bring receipts. You get what I'm saying? So Kakana, Sala Place. Anywho, that's been my time. Don't forget, at Tina Fierce One is my Twitter handle. And on Instagram, we are Tina Fierce One with an H. On Facebook, we are Scoop and Scoop. Hey, and YouTube, we do this for you every day, all day. Did I say that this Wednesday is. Oh, no. <gasps> yeah, well, it's one of those days. For now, I'm out.